It is time for Mike Depp. We dedicate this time in the show to hearing people in their own words because that doesn't happen often enough. Today we hear from local musician, fashion designer, and producer Afro Velvet, who's on a mission to reimagine the world starting with her hometown, D.C. Who's Afro Velvet? Describe myself as a transmogrifier, um, as a design architect, um, as a producer. In my art, a lot of what I'm doing is like telling a story of where I feel like I come from and also where I feel like I'm going. I want her to literally look like an alien. And she does. Wow. <laughs> Amazing. So my collections are focused around industrialism and then futurism. Is it surreal for you that you're able to do that and, and that's your life and that's your image? It's just not a side hustle. It's, it's who you are and it's what you're doing every day. It's absolutely who I am. Like I, so I used to work a nine to five and I, I couldn't. Like my entire body, I would get sick every time I had a nine to five. So normally I'll have like flowers hooked to all of the vines here. And this is kind of like a waterfall and the greenery around it is just like vines hanging around the waterfall. Um, this is a When we take a step back and we look at this in its entirety, mm -hmm. what do you want us to feel? What do you want us to see? Um, honestly, I want you to see what you see. I feel like I don't want to dictate anyone's perception. Um, a lot of my music is also along the same theme of evolution. Um, and so, like, even if you listen to my discography, Look at me. none of my music really sounds the same. Like, I rap in some songs, I sing in some songs, some of them sound very gospel-like. Your music is is, yeah. is representing you know transitional and transformation, and exactly. our, our city has gone through gone through a lot of transformation. Absolutely, this kind of reclamation by the people who are from D.C. and then the gentrification that's going on, and so it's just like the butting heads. And I really wanted to create something and, and release something that people could resonate to in this moment. First of all, I love Velvet's answer when you ask, what do you want us to see? And um, whatever it is that you see. I and have to ask those kind of questions because I'm very much somebody who sees art two-dimensionally. Mm -hmm. In order to appreciate it, I have to have it explained to me. Mm -hmm. I think the great thing about doing these stories, Reese, is just over the past month, I've done more stories about arts and culture than I have during my entire 23 year career. So being able to ask her those type of questions, what do you want us to feel? Give me a little help mm -hmm. al along the way. And the art that she's doing, fusing the music and fusing the fashion uh, and, and, and fusing all of these different components together, what is it that she wants us to know? And you, you heard Velvet describe being a transmogrifier mm -hmm. is how they would describe themselves. Here's how that's defined. Somebody who lives life in search of their own destinies or evolution. So Velvet, what they believe is that we don't necessarily just have one destiny, that we're searching for multiple destinies. And once Velvet explained that to me, that got me thinking. That's what put alarm bells off in my head. And mm -hmm. I was like, this is interesting. I could go deeper down this rabbit hole. Now, did, uh, did Velvet reveal any of their influences, any of the art that influenced their art or, or art that she aspires to? We didn't, we didn't go there. We more talked about what is the art and how it relies on modernism and futurism and talking about gentrification in DC, where we've been and where we're going, some of her big influences. All right, very cool. Thank you for that, Adam, as yeah. always.